Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams is at smarturl.it forward slash pass. This video channel is at smarturl.it forward slash pass actuarial exams. And here are the links to the online seminars for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM that I teach and to the manuals uh, that I wrote for exams PFM, IFM, and LTAM. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here is a problem for today for exam P on probability. In an analysis of healthcare data, ages have been rounded to the nearest multiple of five years. The difference be between the true age and the rounded age is assumed to be uniformly distributed on the interval from minus 2.5 years to 2.5 years, uh, negative 2.5 years to 2.5 years. The healthcare data are based on a random sample of 48 people. What is the approximate probability that the mean of the rounded ages is within 0.25 years of the mean of the true ages? And here's the solution. So for any given rounded age xi, its error ei is uniform between negative 2.5 and 2.5. Therefore, the expected value of EI is 0, and the variance of EI is 5 squared divided by 12, which is 25 over 12. Whenever you have uniform distribution on an interval from A to B, the mean is the midpoint, so A plus B over 2, and the variance is B minus A, the whole quantity, the difference squared divided by 12. That's exactly what we're using here. The total error in 48 independent rounded ages is the sum of those individual errors, and these are independent, identically distributed random variables. The mean of that total is 48 times 0, so 0, and the variance is 48 times 25 over 12. Now we can add the variances because they're independent, and each one of them has um, variance of 25 over 12, and there's 48 of them, so that's why it's 48 times 25 over 12. And of course, 48 divided by 12 is 4, and 4 times 25 is 100. So this is equal to 100. The mean error of the 48 rounded ages, E bar, is the sum of all, all those EIs divided by 48, it also has expected value of 0, but its variance is the variance of the sum divided by 48 squared. So it's 100 divided by 48 squared. And uh, this is the same as 10 over 48, the whole fraction squared, because 100 is equal to 10 squared. So the question asks, in the problem is equivalent to asking for the probability of the mean error being within 0.25 years from zero. And we are using the normal approximation for the distribution of E bar as justified by the central limit theorem because um, E bar is uh, an average of uh, um, independent identically distributed random variables and a lot of them, 48. So probability that E bar absolute values less than 0.25 is the probability that E bar is between negative 0.25 and uh, 0.25. And by central limit theorem, E bar is approximately normal. So if we subtract its mean and divide by the standard deviation, it's approximate, that result of that calculation is approximately standard normal. So we subtract the mean and divide by standard deviation on both sides of both inequalities. So we get uh, negative 0.25 minus 0 over 10 over 48. 
the square root of uh, the square of a fraction 10 over 48 of course is 10 over 48 so that's a standard deviation of e bar and on the right hand side we have 0.25 minus 0 over 10 over 48 so the random variable in the middle is approximately standard normal we'll write z for it or z, write z for the standard normal distribution that is approximately equal to it and the left hand side is equal to negative 1.2 and the right hand side is equal to 1.2 so this is a probability that a uh, standard normal random variable is between negative 1.2 and 1.2 and then we use the data from the table because this probability of being between those two is equal to probability that z is less than 1.2 minus the probability that z is less than or equal to negative 1.2 but probability that z is less than or equal to negative 1.2 is equal to probability that z is more than uh, 1.2 because of the symmetry of the standard normal distribution and then the probability that z is more than 1.2 is equal to 1 minus probability that z is less than 1.2 so what we have here is two probabilities that z is less than 1.2 minus 1 we look it up in the table the probability of z less than being less than 1.2 is 0.8849 and this becomes 2 times 0 0.8849 minus 1 and that's uh, 0 0.7698 answer D please remember this is copyrighted material the problem itself belongs to a society of actuaries the solution is mine good luck in your studies and good luck on the test <laughs>